everyone, Melissa here and I'm excited to be back with you today with another layout that I created with Sunkist. I am using this background paper. I had thought about using this one in my Facebook Live for Cocoa Vanilla during International Scrapbooking weekend or day and I went with a white one in the end because I wanted to do mixed media but I did promise that I would use this paper for another layout which is going to be this one. So this cut file is also another freebie from International Scrapbooking Weekend. I've backed it with predominantly papers from the A5 paper stack and um, I went with solids or small repeating patterns and I've got this photo of Ava which is from our beach holiday in January and there was native bush that went Oh, that was on this property and I had a little cute photo of her next to an old tree house. So the reason I'm um, voicing over this part is because there's something going on with my sound on my iPhone when I record live. So if my hands don't <laughs> match my voice, that is why. Um, just showing you what I'm going to be using and I've got a fussy cut floral as well, as well as that wood grain paper. So yeah, in a sec we're going to get into the making part of this video. So the first thing I wanted to do was add some white splatters to this paper and what I've got is some white acrylic paint just from Spotlight, really cheap, and I've watered it down and um, I think I'm struggling here because there's not enough water in my um, little spritzer bottle, I need to add some more to make it easier. And I wanted to add the splatters before I add the cut file because I wanted them to sit underneath. So. If you want the splatters to go on top of your cut file and your embellishment then by all means hold off um, till the end and do it at the very last stage of your layout but yeah in this instance I wanted them to sit behind so I just am holding up my cut file my wreath to see if I've got enough splatters on here and usually I would use um, I've got some acrylic ink and I've also got delusions white ink spray but I'm finding that um, and particularly with the Delusions White, it just doesn't show up enough. So I just love the look of acrylic paint. You water it down, it's just like um, adding any other type of white splatter. I know a lot of other people do it as well. So off camera, uh, while I was waiting for that to dry, I added foam to this cut file. I wanted it to sit up. As you know, I love to mention. And then that is a fussy cut floral um, cluster. I've used them a lot and I think I had this one partially fussy cut so I fussy cut that off camera as well I don't think you need to see that and then like I said in my intro I was going to use that wood grain to back my photo now the reason I've gone with wood grain is because there's enough color going on in this layout and I just wanted something that was a bit of a contrast so I've lightly distressed my edges as always and it doesn't really need anything else behind it as far as photo mats go because I've also got the white border that I print with my photos and add to every, pretty much all my photos have a white border. So now I've got these um, die cut ephemera florals. I'm just wanting to add a little bit more to um, integrate my photo into that cut file. I didn't want to have my photo on an angle too much so there was a bit of a gap between the top left corner of the photo and the cut file so I've added that large orange <clears throat> flower excuse me and then I'm just um just trying to see I don't think I've used many of these so I'm wanting to get a few of them onto the layout but I don't want to take away from the cut file either because it really is the star of the layout aside from the cute photo of Ava. So I glue the centers down and then use dimensional adhesive around the edges. I lift up the edges of the petals and just add the extra dimension. So adding a few bits and pieces up here as well because otherwise I think that floral cluster looks very different to the um, florals in the wreath itself. So that just helps um, integrate it. Then I've got one of those puffy um, enamel buttons. I've added the blue one with the heart in the center of that flower. I think it looks quite cute. And I've got these puffy sticker florals as well. I've added one at the bottom of my photo on the wreath. And I think I add off camera, I add some hearts and I may even add some more. A bit Happy Days is like a subtitle. It's from the ephemera pack. Very aware that I haven't used many of these pieces of ephemera so I'm wanting to try and get some on. I love that banner there, I probably should have left it but I didn't so I've gone with that little flag that says hello 
And now that I look at that palm tree, I probably should have left that in there as well, but I guess I'm being a bit pedantic because it's native bush that she is standing in. Where we were staying, there was some native bush on the um, property, and I didn't really want to add a palm tree. It just doesn't go with native New Zealand bush, but I have other photos of Fiji that I'm sure I can use the palm tree on. So um, I had to laugh. When I uploaded this um, to, or not upload. When I added this to the blog, I realized that my layout last month was called Love This as well, but it's fine. I'm not keeping count. I've probably used that for several layouts. So yeah, I've just added my journaling in a silver pen, and that is my layout. So the cut file is beautiful, and it definitely helped this layout come together. Hope you enjoyed my process video. Like I said, um, I'm on the blog as well, so do head on over there if you want to see the still photos and also read more about my process. Thank you so much for watching. All the links and details are in the description box below.